Today's video, I'm going to show you the best run defense in Madden 24. This is super important because people don't even understand how good the run game really is this year. So I want to give you, in my opinion, the best way to be playing run defense right now. And it is out of the 43, even 6-1. I think 4-3, even 6-1 is the defense that Bill Belichick utilized in the Super Bowl a couple of years ago to absolutely lock down the uh, the Rams offense. I think they held up to three points, and it was due to the fact that they were consistently able to stop the run. 4-3, even 6-1 is an incredible run defense in Madden. We're going to explain to you why in this video. If you want to get my entire 4-3, even 6-1 defense ebook, it is in the Patreon right now, Kansas City Chiefs playbook. We also have, um, we actually have a Patriots version of this where there's a couple other plays and some other cool formations that complement it as well. So if you're not on the Patreon yet, I'd really encourage you to join it. It will, I guarantee it's going to help you become a better Madden player. And if you want to sign up, the link's going to be down below. So the best run defense in Madden right now is cover four quarters out of 43, even 6-1. One of the biggest tips I can give you for this defense, we're going to run it on baseline, but the biggest tip here is you're going to put your curl flats on zero. That is going to significantly help you defend RPOs. It's going to help you defend the run. It's going to help you play better defense in general. Now, you can put your flats on 30 if you want to play a little double Mabel out of this, um, which is fine as well. Uh, and I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll talk about this, this defense. So super, super effective little defense here. Our setup is we're going to pinch our D-line, we're going to uh, crash down, and we're going to keep it contained. We're going to put our user in a deep blue, and then we're going to spread our linebackers, and we're going to put both of our linebackers on curl flats. From, the, from there, um, you can, if you want to, you can show blitz and back off your outside corners. I like to back them off, or you could just press if you want to press. Um, then we could do this right here, Okay. Why is this run defense really, really effective? Because it sets the edge very, very well and allows you as a user to be able to get out here and play some of the basic runs that people are going to be utilizing, okay? So essentially what's gonna happen is we're gonna, this, Q, this use of the QB contain combined with the fact that we are um, utilizing these curl flats on the outside, when they run stretch, you see that those they're gonna eat those double teams. See how, see how the defensive end is getting double teamed on both sides of the stretch run. Well, that allows the linebackers now uh, to be freed up and specifically allows your user. Now, the best way to stop the run with your user is to not blitz your user, okay? Uh, you want your user on a zone, and the reason why is because the offensive line won't react as well to your user defender. Now, right there, I got kind of caught up, just bad user on my side. But you see here, I mean, if they run weak side stretch, there's really not a, I mean, it's really hard for them to run that because you see how I can just basically fill the gap. The hardest run to stop because we are in a symmetrical formation, of course, is going to be the wide side stretch. So um, if they do run a strong side stretch, again, you see those double teams, see how I can just run in and shoot the gaps. That is why this is such a good and effective defense against the run. Now, it's not only good against the run, but it's also pretty decent um, against different types of RPOs that uh, that you might face. Now, I'll give you a couple of examples here. We'll show you this just single back wing style stuff. But basically, um, I'm going to contain, and you'll see here, stretch again. See how I can just fill the gap. I just got to make the tackle better, but I can fill the gap relatively easily. Um, let me show you an RPO. The reason we put the purples on uh, zero is so they do a better job of defending RPO type bubble screen. So let's go to something like this. And again, if you want to just shade outside over top, that will create the curl flats as well. But basically here, he's on zero. If I throw there, see how that's open? Okay, two ways to counter that. Number one, if you know that you're maybe you're playing the single back wing slot out of the Colts playbook, just man that guy up. Uh, that simple man up right there, maybe do something like that on the left-hand side. That simple man up is enough to stop an RPO. For the most part, you'll be able to rally down and tackle and be pretty effective, okay? The other way to stop the RPO is to put the curl flats out there and to pass commit. So this is kind of a little bit kind of ironic, but you want to pass commit to stop the run. Um, because if they run the ball, I can still shoot it with my user. You see right there, I just got to make the tackle, but I can still shoot it with my user on that side of the field. So that's that's kind of taken away just by the fact that the formation itself is really set up well to defend the run. So then what we just have to worry about is this bubble screen. So what you'll see, if I pass commit that zero yard purple, 
is going to run out there. I just got to click on and make a play there. Um, but again, this is where I really like to piece that with um, essentially a cover two Mabel on that side of the field. So it looks something like this. And then that cloud flat is going to now help a little bit more in the bubble. So yeah, the cloud flat's going to be able to come down and now you've got a two on one trying to basically counter the bubble screen. So it's a great little way uh, to counter the run game. I want to talk about one other formation uh, real quick. And I want to talk about inside, inside runs. We haven't really covered that. But basically any kind of like single back, single back wing pair where we're going to run the stretch and we're going to run the dive where they're going to super load up on one side. What we're going to do to counter that is we're still going to put the curl flat out there on the, on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, though, we're actually going to blitz this guy and we're going to QB contain. What this is going to do is it's just going to help set the edge a little bit more. So they run that with that, and I can shoot in, and you see we're able to stop the probably the best run in the game for a loss of you know one or two yards. Again, the contain is really helpful because what the contain is going to do is they're just going to set the edge a little bit better. Same thing with the dive. Probably not going to be able to run dive on 4-3, even 6-1. Um, and really, I mean, as you can see, I mean, this just does a really good job of taking away the run game. So we're going to force our opponent to have to pass – um, out of a out of a run set and most of the time if you can take if someone's a runner and you can force them to be one dimensional a lot of times that is enough to get you the w okay so again all we have to do just blitz that guy if it's if it's super overloaded if it's like a if it's like an i form wing if it you know stuff like that you can pretty much super commit to stopping the run game and then if they do pass i did want to quickly cover uh that let me let me actually run like a little zone uh, power power type run. So if they do pass the ball, so like here, a great example, I form wing. What we're going to do here, we're actually going to go ahead and press this up. And the reason why is because we're going to use the curl flat and then we're going to play cover two with the blitz. So you can kind of adjust it a little bit, right? But now let's say they run like a power run. Uh, that's probably the best style of run. And a lot of times you're still going to be able to basically take it away because you have so many people uh, down in the box. So that's important to remember um, you don't want to try to overcommit to stopping the run, but at the end of the day, you see, see right there, see how they kind of just break through and uh, they're able to stop it. If they do go with a passing game, you got to understand they're going to be relatively limited uh, just in terms of what they can do, right? So you're probably going to get something that looks basically like this little street corner flat style of offense. So when we come back to what are we doing defensively to stop this? Well, we're playing that cover two. Uh, on that side and then we're playing this right here. So we're sending five. So we're gonna get decent pressure uh, But the other thing is our user we can kind of peel there go back to the middle And that should be enough to stop what most people are doing from an under center set So I think four three even six one probably the best way to counter any kind of under center type set in the game And will really set you up for success because it's gonna force people that like to run the ball to pass And then we can play a little better defensive as a result Thanks for watching the video. To get the full defensive ebook on this, make sure you join the Patreon. It's linked in the description. Ten bucks will get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks.